and we're going to use the license record and uh, we're going to do a minimum study and this will create a job file that we can always load sometime in the future if we wish and work on the study again and quickly our study is done for the channel that uh, KZST is on and we're looking at a spacings screen now the minimum spacings based on the FCC uh, for these stations are listed here in kilometers the distance is listed in this column and the margin or the clear space is listed in this column and so we're just talking about the distances between the stations now we're going to do a short space and make this station move to a different location we'll say that its antenna tower uh, lease was lost and they had to move to a different location so we can do that by bringing up the separations mapping screen and you can see that uh, the cross down here is the location of our reference station and I'm going to move it up here and we'll go ahead and recalculate and you can see almost instantly we have an overlap now the reason that you see this red circle is that this is the minimum spacing circle for KRCX FM and we're starting to intrude into it with our transmitter and if you look at the margin now in the margin screen the main screen you see that it is 15.3 kilometers short of the spacings that are required so what we have to do is we have to protect this station using a directional antenna and we do that using a rules in the FCC rules 73215 now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to switch to a what we call the interference mode and we'll look at the contour to contour relationship uh, with this station case RCX if we look at this on a map we can see that here we are with the protected contour of KC KRCX and the interference contour in red of our station and we have to pull this back using a directional antenna we cannot cross and cause interference uh, or contour overlap or receive it so we're going to do that now by making a directional antenna so we call up the reference station and we'll click it here to make it a um, directional 73215 and you notice that all of a sudden our reference pattern shows up by the way any of the parameters of the reference station can be changed simply by clicking into them and making the change on the screen now I'm going to click into the reference pattern and we'll open it up and we notice that we have this serious overlap and if we look at where the overlap is it will tell us where it is and how much overlap we have and the azimuth in degrees of the overlap so we're going to try to get rid of this by creating a directional antenna we can do this automatically by going to function auto design draft pattern consider all adjacents and this will clear your existing pattern we don't really have a pattern there we just had a full field a circle and there is our pattern and if you notice over here in our other screen we have no overlaps now and our closest overlap is with KRCX FM and it, it is 0.5 kilometers and if we look at its map and we see uh, what it looks like we notice that um, here's the KRCX we notice that we don't have any overlap anymore so automatically the program has created this directional antenna now the one thing about this directional antenna is that it has to meet other rules of the FCC so I'm going to go back here to that antenna and make sure we meet these other rules and those rules are that you have to change no more than 2 dB every 10 degrees now we do a lot of changing here and of course you never could design a pattern doing this anyway so we have to smooth this out now the easiest way to smooth the pattern out is to start somewhere here and make sure that you don't go more than 2 dB every 10 degrees and then we'll take these pattern points and smooth them out oops now we can't put that pattern point quite so far in or we get our, a red overlap and that ding indicates we're still overlapping so we'll have to go down here and bring these points in a little bit 
and uh, make sure that uh, we don't have an overlap. Okay, we still have a, an overlap there. We'll pull in here and pull this point in. And uh, this is actually kind of fun, uh, uh, but uh, it, you have to take your time with it. And uh, let's try to get rid of this one here. Here we go. Still overlapping right there. Still overlapping. And we'll pull in here. This is uh, getting to be a good size null that we're producing. Ah, now we don't have the overlap. And we got to get rid of this, so we'll move that in there. Now, that's a better pattern, uh, but let's look at whether we meet the 2dB per 10 degree rule. We'll check for 2dBs. This shows us our RMS and our area. And it is exceeded, the 2dBs is exceeded at 30, 80, 90, and that's it. So obviously this is going from a uh, very small value here. Uh, if we click into the 30, we can see that it's a 0 0.5, 0 0.751 field. And down here we have, we click into it uh, on the 30, a 0.423. So we're, we're, if we go to dB, we can see how quickly we move from 20 to 30. Uh, this is much more than 2 dB. So we then will we'll smooth this out. And we'll do that by going down and clicking the directional version. I'm going to take this point and right click it. And you notice now that we're smooth 2 dB per 10 degree. I want to make sure I get that right. And uh, there. Now I want to go the opposite direction, the positive direction beginning here to make the 2 dB per 10 degree rule work. And now let's see what we've done. Check for 2 dB. It's exceeded at 30 and 80. We're exceeded right here, so and 80. So I'll work on the 80 first. We'll start with this point, and uh, we'll click click it with the right click on the mouse. And notice it pulls in a little bit, and then we'll go to this point up here and click it with the right click on the mouse. And um, I think I'll pull it from here. And now we'll see what we have check for 2 dB per 10 and we pass. Now I want to be sure I save this because all that work. There it is. Now it's attached to the job file and you have created a pattern that fully protects all of the stations that it needs to protect or particularly the station we're interested in KRCX and if we look at its map we see that there isn't any overlap. There's a little almost touching here but no overlap. Now if we look at the reference station and map it out this is at 70 dBU and you can see that it covers uh, probably I would say 80 percent or more of Santa Rosa so this is a legal pattern. Thanks for watching and we'll uh, do some additional work in the future on pattern design.